right, good afternoon. Welcome to another episode. This episode is going to be different. Um, I didn't have time to film everything. Wasn't planning on making a video today at all. Um, I came out here late today, a little after 3 o'clock, and uh, just started fishing and filming, you know, just having fun. And next thing I know, I just got a lot of bass in the kayak today. Um, got some of them on that new spinner bait that we got, that uh, Strike King Tour Grade. And then uh, towards, the end of the, uh, towards the end of the trip, the video, you'll see we got a lot of fish on that black chatterbait with that crawfish on it. Um, I don't really know how many fish we got on it, but it was definitely a fun afternoon. Uh, the weather was nice out here. A little bit windy um, earlier today. and that, Right now it's kind of calmed down, but um, around 70 degrees today. But mosquitoes started coming out this afternoon. It's around 6 o'clock now, and I'm headed back. But uh, I just wanted to film the intro and outro here together. Uh, like I said, I just hope y'all like the content, the video. I know this is different, but I appreciate y'all. I hope y'all like it. Alright, so I'm just going to throw this uh, same spinnerbait we was throwing on uh, Little Red River in that last episode. It's that Strike King Tour Grade. I got, I got what's left of my uh, soft plastic lure on there. Something bit the tail off of it on that last trip. I, forget, I don't remember what it was. But. Just kind of out here having fun. Not really uh, all too serious about what I'm doing here. Just kind of, you know, just having a good time. Weather's nice. It was a little bit windy out here today. Not too bad, but I just figured I'd come out here and see if we can catch some bass or maybe even crappie, you know. Who knows? <laughs> You never know what you're gonna catch out here. Sometimes the crappie might actually be biting. A lot of times in the fall, I do pretty good crappie fishing, you know, around like logs and stuff. But right now it's kinda, oh, there we go. Already got one. Man, he is pulling too. Trying to drag it a little bit. Man, come on, buddy. <laughs> He ain't no giant, but man, he got a lot of pull to him. He was wanting to stay under the water. Oh, come here, buddy. Didn't take long at all to catch the first fish. <laughs> that last time we was in this lake, uh, I don't remember or not, a lot of the bass were up shallow that day. A lot of big bass. That one there is a nice one too. Kind of chunky. <laughs> we'll take him for sure. Get the day started already. Back he goes. I don't know if putting the kayak in. I heard a lot of bass flopping out here. That's usually a good sign. So far I've had really good luck out that lure there. Like I said, it's a Strike King Tour Grade. I think this is the uh, either three eighths or one half ounce. I think it's one half ounce. That is a uh, has a willow lure, a willow spinner on it, and a Colorado spinner. Kind of a combination of both. So far, like I said, I've had really good luck with it. On on that little red trip, most of the fish we caught that day were on this. I really wasn't expecting to. Uh, catch that many bass on a little red with spinnerbait especially one this size I mean this is a this is a pretty good size spinnerbait you know like that Strike King Mr. Little Money that I normally use it's quite a bit smaller it's only a 3 16 ounce but the uh, spinners and everything on it are quite a bit smaller There we go. Oh, another guy got some power on him. Little dude. He had some steam on him. Steam ran out pretty quick. <laughs> Wind's trying to turn me around here. There we go. No. Another little dude. A little fast dude. 
Thank you, buddy. Get bigger. <laughs> wind is humming today. Well, not too bad, it's about probably 10 mile an hour right now. Oh, there we go. A decent size one. <laughs> well, I say that. He felt like it for sure. He ain't. <laughs> now there's a little dude that has a lot of pull to him. Back you go, buddy. Yeah, it's been a challenge to try to find a uh, place out of the wind. Like everywhere I've gone today, the wind has followed me. Oh, there we go. Well, cut off. No, he's still on. Guess he was just coming to me. Man, he's pulling now. That's a nice one there. That is actually a nice one. <laughs> Come on, buddy, stay on there. Come on, stay on there. He just barely hooked inside the mouth there. There we go. Yep, that is a nice one there. I guess he was just coming to me whenever thought he got off there. It sure went slack there. Man, he's hooked up good too. I thought he was. I didn't think he was hooked up good right there inside him out. Man. I'm to get the pliers on him. There we go. Yeah, that ain't a bad one at all right there. Long bass. Make that chubby beef long. Definitely pulled hard. Make you go, buddy. Definitely appreciate the fight on him. He bent that thing all up. That's one thing about that lure right there. That, uh, that tour grade one compared to that, uh, Strike King Mr. Little Money. Um, and just a lot more flexible. It bends a lot more than that other does. The other day when I caught that uh, chain pickerel, <laughs> I thought I was just going to throw the bait away. It, it bent it all up, but I finally got it straightened back out. We're going to keep fishing with it until it uh, breaks or just can't straighten it back up. <laughs> Yeah, it's still on. Whatever it is. Whoa! Man! It is fast, whatever it is. I get the bass. Yeah, it's a big bass, too. <laughs> yep, that's a nice one there. He has some steam on him. Come on, buddy. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we 
There we go. Now he was going across there fast. Thought we lost him there for a second. And he was just flying across there. <laughs> There we go. Yeah, that's a nice bass there. Get some weight on him. He got some little chubby belly there. Long too. I'll definitely take him. It's been a little while since that last bass. I started throwing some other lures and wouldn't get nothing on them either. Went back to this one here. And that's about the second or third cast in this area here. Pretty late in the afternoon, it's around uh, a little after five right now. Finally found a place here in the lake that I can get out of the wind. There we go. Oh man, that's another big one. Feels like it anyway. Come on, buddy, come my way. <laughs> oh man, it come off. Really not sure if it was a bass or not. It might have been a uh, bowfin. Oh, back again. Come off again. Oh, back again. <laughs> Whoa, no, it ain't, but it ain't a bowfin. It ain't a really big bass either. It was kind of a small bass, but uh, man, he was uh, ferocious there. He wanted it pretty bad. Straighten my bait up here. We'll throw it back over. If he wants another go at it. There he is again. Man. <laughs> I wish he would get a good hookup. He pulls good. He just does not want to get a good hookup on it. I try to... Uh Throw that crawfish in there on that. Got a bladed jig with a crawfish on it. I'll try to cast one more in there. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> Man, I have never uh, hooked up on a bass so many times as that one right there and not get a hookup on him. <laughs> He's either a expert or just lucky. <laughs> I don't know which one, but like I said, I think I'm gonna try to throw that crawfish in there on that bladed jig, just to get a little something different. See if we can't get a hook up on him on it. See what kind of luck we can have with a bladed jig here. Oh, there we go. I think we might have him this time. Time to drag up. 
Man, he's under something right there. Come on, buddy, get out from under there. Oh yeah, here we go. <laughs> Finally got him that time. Come here, come here, come here, bear. <laughs> oh man, I don't know how many times we hooked up on him on that uh, spinner bait. Just could not get a hook up on him. Every time he put up a good fight, but he always ended up coming off. Finally got something that uh get a hook up on him. He ain't very big, but man, every time he pulls, he just feels like a giant. Whoa. Yeah, he got to, had to get his revenge, didn't he? At least he didn't get the camera wet. <laughs> I'm gonna throw back over a few more times, get turned around here. I just ain't sure if he was actually alone or not. Right up there next to that log, there could be quite a few of them kind of stacked up on that log there. All that grass on it. There we go. Try to turn around here. Get some cast up in here. Oh yeah, there we go. About the same size. <laughs> he likes crawfish, don't he? line out. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, he's about the same size as that last one there. Definitely put a good fight on. Both of them did. Back to go. I just got a uh, black chatterbait right there with a, a power bait crawfish there on it. That's a green pumpkin. on it. I kind of like to uh, just kind of bounce it. Just kind of take that rod. This rod is really flimsy on the end of it. I just kind of like to take it and just kind of bounce it. You can feel that chatterbait kind of chatter real hard. And if you look at it in clear water when it does that, and them uh, flippers on that crawfish just sit there and do that. It just looks real good. Definitely some bass stacked up in here. It's only about three foot deep right here. Oh, there's another one. <laughs> That's a little smaller there. Still a good fight though. Come on here, buddy. Looks a little bit longer. smaller than that last one. There he goes. Make sure it's all in here around this wood and this grass and stuff. All this cover. Perfect place to throw a crawfish.
Oh, there we go. Another one. <laughs> On the crawfish. Oh, that looks like a nice one there. Ah, he's about the same size, a little bit bigger maybe. Come on, buddy. Yeah, he's got a pretty good hookup on him. Come on in here. The bass are definitely liking that crawfish. There we go. It's a nice little dude there. He's a little bit bigger. There he goes. I really didn't figure out to get anything on that second cast. I first cast in there, I got hung up on that one little stick there, and I ended up bringing the stick with me. But, uh, maybe they, I didn't spook him any. Do it in there again. He hit. I can see more cast right over here. Run that log and what have you. got off that's all right though <laughs> we gotta look at him got a fight out of him that was just a short cast right up in there you know that wasn't very far from kayak at all they were just loving that chatterbait with that crawfish on it